Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we look at what happened in game week 21, who did well, it wasn't me, and what my plans are for game week 22. Top scorer in the Midnight Mule mini league was Ben McCarthy with the boys in red with 105 points, very nice. Diego Jota captain with 38 points, that was a nice gamble there. Gabriel 17, Palmer 10, Pickford 9, and then Conso and Pedro Porro 6, Gusto 5, and Charleston 8, with no points on the bench. And one place above that, top of the league, is BV Giga Chad FC. They managed 83 points, and the top four in this league are currently better than any of the content creators. So I think that's pretty impressive. So BV, they played the wild card this week, changed their team around. Look at that, got three Brighton players. They had Diego Jota for 19. Gabriel for 17, Darwin for 11, Estupinan 8, Pedro Porro 6, Saka for 6. And then on the bench, no points to speak of on the bench. As for me, I didn't have Gabriel, so <laughs> there I am. I got, I'm down 181 with 54 points. Captain Palmer got 20, Estupinan 8, Pedro Porro 6, Saliba 6, and that's all. But at least I got the bench right. There were no points on the bench. So 54 points. Game week rank was three and a half million. So a red arrow. But hey, that's all right. We've got a long way to go yet. So I'm 15 points outside the 500,000 mark. And I'm 221 from top spot. Which means if I get 13 points more than the top player for the rest of the season every week, then I'll finish top. So that's doable, I think. What do you think? 1,191 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribes, who likes, comments, and most of all, who watches these things. So in the Content Creators League from FPL Game Week, of those that I watch, FPL Fran is currently top. Very nice. 1,314 points. Ben Crellin, he does some very good things on Twitter, now called X. He makes predictions about when there are going to be doubles and blank game weeks and who's likely to play, etc. Uh, he's doing well in fifth. Gian Boutisi, and I said his name very wrong. <laughs> Gianni, I think it is. He's in seventh. And the very popular Andy, let's talk FPL, he's currently in eighth. I'm all the way down in 65th. Look at that. I think it was several things made the difference, but not having Gabriel was a big one of them. There I am down in 65th. So the only person I'm aware of and I watch that I'm above of is currently Surge from Planet FPL. Regarding transfers, it's really tricky this week. There's plenty of players I could swap around, and if I was wildcarding, I'd probably change 13 players, maybe. So quite a lot. My team's not awful. I'm happy with all the players, but there are other players I could be getting in. So the most likely transfer I'm going to make is either Salah, Saka, or Hee-Chan out to get in KDB. But I'm still threatening to get in Gordon. Probably not this week. They're away to Villa, I believe. But after that, Newcastle have a very nice run. So there's a very high chance, if I don't get him this week, I'll get him in next week. But other people I'm thinking about getting regarding defenders is I may offload Trippier, Senesi or Saliba because I'd quite like to have Trent and or Robertson. Would I actually go for two Liverpool defenders? I'm not sure. If I didn't have Salah, then I may go for these two. But I really don't know. It's all very much up in the air. Probably not do those transfers this week, but it's not impossible. And then forwards, one of these could happen this week, and that is Watkins or Solanke swap them for Haaland. It depends on what we think the chances are of Haaland playing this week. If it looks at least 50% chance of him playing, I probably will get him in, but not yet decided. So no transfers made yet. So as things stand, the way my team looks is I've got Foden at home to Burnley. And he's wearing the old mule hat. And I got Watkins at home to Newcastle as vice captain. And I got Pedro Porro at home to Brentford. And I believe all the other players are away this week, which isn't great because I think home advantage is massive. So we have Dubravka and Trippier away to Villa. Saliba and Saka away to Forest. Estupinan and Jao Pedro away to Luton. Palmer away to Liverpool. And then Solanke away to West Ham. And then on my bench, I got Sanchez on the beach, Senesi, uh, he's away to West Ham, and then He Chan and Salah are also on the beach, doing absolutely nothing. 
As for the background picture, it may seem a bit cryptic. That's Alice in Wonderland wearing red because Boys in Red was the top scorer this week. You'll see the Cheshire Cat there in the background playing soccer. Why have I got Alice in Wonderland? Because Lewis Carroll, who wrote Alice in Wonderland, is his birthday today, January the 27th, and he was born in Cheshire. And we moved to Cheshire about 12 years ago. So, <laughs> so if any of you worked out the background picture and the Lewis Carroll connection, well done. And that's me. That's what happened in 21 and my vague plans for Game Week 22. And I hope you have a good Game Week 22. It starts on Tuesday, so I've got a couple of days yet to mess my team up even more than it is already. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.